Welcome back everyone. So in this video, we are going to talk about how do we quickly insert a tick symbol in Microsoft Word. In the case where you want to manually insert this tick symbol and you realize that you have to do this frequently, not in this same Microsoft Word file, probably you have to insert or perform this thing or a checklist frequently day to day. So you may want to assign this symbol to a shortcut key or to an autocorrect function or features. So we will look at Microsoft Word on how do we deal with this thing. So how do we insert a symbol using keyboard? So of course, first thing is that the steps are listed here. First, we look at how do we insert a normal symbol, um, the normal approach, right? So go to insert tab and then click at the symbol. And then you can see um, if this is here, this is a frequently or recently used symbol. You can see the tick here. So you may want to click these buttons a few times um, throughout the day if you need to do this thing a lot of times or copy paste. So sometimes you close the file or, or start a new day of work, um, copy paste, you still have to do it for one time, right? Um, to, to, to insert this symbol manually. So now, how do we assign it to a, sim, um, a shortcut or a autocorrect so that you can use it um, for, the, for every time you open a new word file or, or another word file, you can use this function. So click at more symbol and then go to font, change it to Wingdings and then scroll to the last row and choose the symbol that you want. So of course you can click insert here and you can close, you can see that this symbol is here. So now let's try it for the second approach where this is manually, you want to insert the symbol. Of course, the second approach is that you can scroll to the last, select this one. We look at first, how do we use auto correct? So go to here and then click at this auto correct buttons. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit so that you can see clearer. So click at auto correct button, a new window pop up. So over here, you just type in the keyword that you want and then click yes, click add and okay. So for example, I will use um, backslash T and click add, okay? So you see, um, once you have added this one, it is already here. If you don't need this one anymore, you can eventually delete this one in the future. So you can delete it and then of course you can add with a new phrase or new keyword. Then um, click okay. Okay, so this is done and then you click close. So how do we quickly insert the tick in here? Of course, backslash T and then the next one is you can type a white space. Um, let me zoom out. Okay. Okay, so let me remove this one. Let's do it one more time. More symbol and then um, go to Wingdings, select this one click auto correct and then of course you can see that um, there's this one here so you may want to delete this one it does not work so maybe we try backslash tick and then click ok click add click ok and then close so try one more time tick and then press a tab okay and then um, auto correct we have completed this one of course you can press a white space so advantage of this thing is that you can see um, as we are typing, sometimes it's easier. So for example, I am, I have inserted the tick symbol, right? So I can just continue to type and it will auto correct. So this is what we want here, okay? So the next method here is that we are looking at this shortcut key methods. That means um, you want to press a keyboard shortcut and insert, for example, a symbol for you. So things like, for example, Control Shift C, um, Alternate Shift C. Okay, right. So the copyright symbol is Control Alternate C. So you can insert this one if you want something like this. You can do it um this way as well. So now let's look at how do we deal with this one. So again, symbol, more symbol, and then windings, and then you scroll to the last one as you as the as um what we have done just now select this tick symbol okay so one thing that you need to be slightly more careful is that don't choose here um sometimes it's it it does not work so um choose from the list is better 
So select this shortcut key. So again, don't choose this one. Don't choose from the recently used symbol. Choose this one and then choose um, shortcut key. So you see I have um, this shortcut key here. I will just remove it and then close it again. So again, um, select this one, press on the shortcut key. And then now without doing anything, let me zoom in. I'm just pressing the key combo on my keyboard to have the, the key display here. Okay, I'm not typing, so I will use Control Alternate Shift T. Let's say so you will see I have this one here. So you want you need to choose a combination that is showing currently assigned to unassigned. Then you will have a unique or a new shortcut key. Click Assign and then close. Okay, so that's that's it. Okay, so we can close this one and we try here. Right, so if you just need to have one thick symbol, Control Shift T, so you will get this one. One more time, Control Shift T. Right, compared to this one, it's a typing. Okay, so sometimes different approach um has the uh, advantage. So while you are typing a paragraph, you want to insert the thick symbol, probably it's easier, um, by doing so, right. And of course, if you just need a thick symbol, keyboard shortcut will be much faster. So that will be the end of this video. I hope you enjoy this one and learn something new. So thank you for watching. Subscribe, like and comment. See you in the next video.